young people should see this film. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to be counting down the top 10 Adrian Brody movies. Adrian Brody is a talented and versatile actor who has appeared in a wide range of films, from action-packed blockbusters to thought-provoking dramas. So without further ado, let's dive into our list. Starting off our list at number 10 is The French Dispatch. Adrian Brody lands among a few actors that Wes Anderson favors, with the likes of Owen Wilson and Bill Murray. So it's no surprise that he returned in Anderson's latest film, The French Dispatch. The film even included one of the best action sequences in a Wes Anderson film, combining creative animation with real-life intensity. The French Dispatch is an anthology film, interweaving three complicated stories revolving around a newspaper company. Adrian Brody shines as Julian Cadazio, an art dealer caught in the acts of tax evasion. His portrayal is sublime, contributing consistency to an all-over-the-place movie. Mo naked cell block J hobby room. I want to buy it. It's not for sale. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes. Coming in at number nine is King of the Hill. Another installment in Adrian's earlier filmography was King of the Hill, a coming-of-age story set in the Great Depression. Brody plays a smaller role as Lester, but provides satisfactory support for this heartfelt story of a boy trying to make it on his own in the middle of the worst times. As one of Brody's best films, he may have been surrounded by great influences that he was able to learn from, taking his acting experience in later years to higher levels. Candace, whose is it? What do you mean, whose is it? It's mine. How'd you get it? Well, you know. Moving on to number eight, we have King Kong. Andy Serkis portrays the monstrous ape through motion capture in this rendition of the story of King Kong, who is brought to New York from Skull Island by an ambitious film crew looking to make a successful film. They want the film to star the ape Kong and a vaudeville actress portrayed by Naomi Watts, who wants to protect Kong. Adrian Brody has a substantial role in the film as the playwright for the film being made, and he becomes close with the star actress eventually falling in love with her and agreeing with her that Kong should be protected and not exploited. <laughs> Moving on to number 7, we have Detachment. Tony Kaye's Detachment is another masterclass from Brody, as he effortlessly straddles the line of comedy and tragedy in the role of substitute teacher Henry Bartz taking place over a month in Barth's life. We're taking on an emotional journey as three women enter the teacher's life, each one changing him in a profound way as he confronts the suicide of his mother. Far more affecting than other teacher films, this is a real hard hitter. That's a movie that we all made for the right reasons and no one saw. It was a wonderful role. And in playing the character it made me think a lot about our children's future, and how frightening it is, and what they're up against. I'm Mr. Barth. For those of you who haven't heard, this is English 11A. At number 6 we have The Thin Red Line. Director Terrence Malick's war slash drama, The Thin Red Line, was one of the most celebrated and acclaimed films to be released in 1998. Besides the incredible score composed by the great Hans Zimmer and the cinematography, one of the main reasons why the film was so successful is due to the hugely talented cast. Jim Caviezel, Sean Penn, Nick Nolte, Adrian Brody, George Clooney, Woody Harrelson, John Travolta, and Jared Leto all give memorable performances throughout the nearly three-hour film. In total, the Thin Red Line was nominated for seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture. I've lived with these men, sir, for two and a half years, and I will not order them all to their deaths. Moving on to number five, we have Darjeeling Limited. The Darjeeling Limited is the first of many collaborations between Adrian Brody and director Wes Anderson. 
To say Anderson's films are original is an understatement. His style of filmmaking is so unique. From the cinematography, screenplay, and use of color, there is truly nothing like it. Brody is able to bring Anderson's characters to life and further emphasize the essence of the film. Owen Wilson and Bill Murray are also longtime collaborators with Anderson and star in the film alongside Brody. Is that my belt? Can I borrow it? Moving on to number four, we have The Jacket. In John Nayberry's psychological thriller The Jacket, Brody delivers a captivating performance as the Gulf War veteran Jack Starks, as he is wrongly incarcerated in a hospital for the criminally insane. Stark soon becomes the object of one doctor's experiments and his life is changed forever because of it. One such experiment sees Stark strapped in a straight jacket and put inside a more casket for hours. The results are surprising to say the least. What year is this? 2007. What? Coming in at number three, we have the Grand Budapest Hotel. Adrian Brody portrays a villain in this Wes Anderson film that follows a concierge, Gustav H. Ralph Fiennes, who is famous for more than just his first-class hotel service, as he also tends to the sexual needs of the wealthy elderly women who stay at the hotel. When one of Gustav's lovers, Tilda Swinton, mysteriously dies, and he's left a substantial painting in her will, the family turns against him, and assumes that he had a part in her death. The film follows Gustav trying to prove his innocence and evade capture from the authorities and the determined family. I learned you ever once laid a finger on my mother's body, living or dead. I go to bed with all my friends. Now, prepare for number two, Midnight in Paris. Midnight in Paris is equally beautiful of a film as it is hilarious. Movies like this one that are rooted in hopes and dreams allow us to fall in love with the characters on screen and the actors who play them. Not only does Adrian Brody live up to all our expectations, Marion Cotillard gives one of the best performances of her career alongside Owen Wilson, Rachel McAdams, and the legend that is Kathy Bates. Critics and audiences have been giving Midnight in Paris an abundance of love since its release in 2011 receiving a 93% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Why are you so dressed up? I was just doing a little writing. You dress up and put on cologne to write? Because you know how I think better in the shower and I get the, the positive ions going in there. And finally, number one is The Pianist. By far Adrian Brody's most heartbreaking and incredible performance is that of Vladislav Spilman in director Roman Polanski's war-slash-drama, The Pianist. We watch Vladislav and his Polish-Jewish family live through the Holocaust until they ultimately get separated and Vladislav is forced to attempt to survive his devastating and inhumane reality alone. It is extraordinary that this film was based on a true story and the mind-blowing performance Brody gives is beyond heart-wrenching. This film earned the actor his first Academy Award for Best Actor in addition to the pianist winning Oscars for Best Adapted Screenplay and Best Director. No one plays Chopin like you. I hope that's a compliment. And there you have it, our top 10 Adrian Brody movies. Whether you're a fan of intense dramas, action-packed adventures, or quirky comedies, there's something for everyone in Brody's diverse filmography. Let us know in the comments which of these movies is your favorite, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.